how can we best serve uh, young people like my son, our students, our children, our grandchildren, who are growing up in an era that is very different from the era in which our educational institutions were founded. It's an era of absolute abundance of access to information and social connectivity. So when our schools and universities were established was a period when access to that specialized knowledge and expertise was scarce and required certain kinds of formats and institutions in order to broker those connections. But nowadays in a era of constant connectivity when you know, it's almost the problem of overabundance, the challenges that we face as educators, as parents, as technology makers have shifted quite substantially. And I think we're really like the initiative that brings me here, um, so much of the work that all of us are involved in is really grappling with this question of how do we change our practices around learning and education when the world outside of the classroom, classroom has changed so dramatically.